you know, why out of all the spots for that car to run off the road on Interstate 495, why did it have to run off the road in that 13 foot space that my vehicle occupied? Well, back in September of 1983, 21 years old, I spent the weekend with my family. I was returning home back down to my apartment. I struck something in the road and my tire went flat, so I pulled off on the shoulder of the road. It was a construction area that I was going through. Literally, the last thing I remember was uh, being at the rear of my vehicle, bent into the trunk, and I actually had a hold of the spare tire. That was the last thing I remember. And of course, as I found out later on, what had happened was uh, another car traveling right behind me um, drifted off of the highway and literally just smashed me between the two cars. When I woke up in intensive care the very next day, um, that was my first, you know, just fully conscious recollection of everything. That's when I was told that I was struck by a car and I, you know, I pretty much knew that I was missing both legs. At that time, you're talking about 1983, 1984, um, you know, of course the prosthetics field was nothing like it is today. It was a lot of work to use the prosthetics that they were making at that time. Yeah, it was quite a while. I let quite a period of time pass before looking into prosthetics. I went to a clinic in Baltimore City and uh, was initially fitted. To me, I can remember there was just, there was just nothing natural about it. At the time, I was using two loft strand crutches, walking just, I mean, I was taking, you know, uh, a couple of steps, and just sweat, just pouring everywhere. And for most of the 90s, I mean, I just went right back into the wheelchair, which was, again, it was no big deal to me because I was used to it. In time, Mike became aware of the groundbreaking work being done at Real Life Prosthetics and decided to go and check it out. I'm thinking, wow, man, I cannot believe this. This is like right in my backyard. Just the equipment, the way that they did things were just so different than what I had experienced. Everything was right again and uh, went through the fitting process again and uh, turned out to be one of the neatest things I've ever done in my life. Right, right back in the saddle again. Now it's the activities with the kids, um, doing the little league thing with, uh, with the boys and uh, I still snow ski, um, I still water ski, I still do all the things that uh, I did prior to the accident. It is just neat to know that you are not alone. 